There are big concerns in Norfolk as well. Here are live views of Norfolk Botanical Garden and downtown. Across the city, high tides have the potential to flood roads. Angelo Vargas is live for us in Norfolk tonight. And Angelo, what are you seeing? Yeah, that's right. I'm um, trying to get up here from the street over here on Bush Street. You can see these cars are coming through. The water slowly comes up. You can see that my feet are now wet. I'm in ankle deep water here, but people are risking it going through these high waters. And you can see the example of this person who stalled out here. This is one of the problem spots that Norfolk is trying to work on and take a look. This afternoon, Norfolk City leaders announced the National Weather Service initially reported high tide will reach six and a half feet. The threat of coastal flooding has caused schools and city buildings to close for the day. Norfolk's Emergency Preparedness and Response Director Jim Reddick says he believes it's not going to be as bad as they prepared for. We are initially looking at major flooding. Uh, now we're looking at the minor moderate flood level, which is so much better. So instead of the, the damages that we were looking at, really we're just looking at standing water ponding on the roadways. So Again, Riddick wants to remind folks not to drive through these high waters that you see here because, again, you could be stranded like this driver here. Live in Norfolk, Angela Vargas, 13 News Now. Angela, thank you. City leaders still say city garages are open for residents. The York Street, Bank Street, and Charlotte Street garages and Brambleton lot will stay open until Wednesday morning. It's